So, this is what the people of Reddit felt about James Wiseman before his draft. The headlines were, James Wiseman will be the best player to come out of the 2020 draft class. If I were to translate that headline into emotions, it'd probably look like this. And this is how the people of Reddit feel about him now. Real talk is there's still hope for James Wiseman. And if I were to translate this headline into emotions, it'd probably look a lot like this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the energy back in here. Despite what's being said about James Wiseman, the undeniable truth is that not only does he fit in with the Warriors, but he'll be a big piece of their 2022 NBA championship run. First off, I have to address the elephant in the room. James Wiseman had an average and forgettable rookie first year. He's not making any all-rookie teams, and despite the flashes of brilliance he had, the number two draft pick didn't have a good season by any stretch. <laughs> Back out to Wiseman, tees up the three. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. If we look a bit into the statistical numbers, he had a plus-minus of minus 4.7, which is 499th in the league. The funny thing is, each team can only have a maximum of 15 players, and there's only 30 teams, so that should limit the amount of total players to 450. And yet, Wiseman was the 499th? Wow, that's how you know it was a bad season. Moving on to my next point. Stephen Curry pretty much makes everybody around him better, but he couldn't do it with Wiseman on the court. Of the four most used lineups in the Warriors' 2021 season, only the one with Wiseman was inefficient. Without him, the Warriors might have been a top five offensive team in the league. Man, when Steph Curry can't make you look good, that's when you know you gotta go back to the drawing board. To add some more fuel to this fire, Draymond Green even alluded to this issue a bit when he was live on TNT talking about the Washington Wizards all-star and rookie issue. But getting draft picks and placing them next to two, two all-stars, that don't work. All in all, Wiseman had too many silly turnovers, committed too many silly personal fouls, and for a large chunk of time, looked like a deer in the headlights. So despite all the analytics, despite what Dre Magic said, why the heck would I say James Wiseman is going to play a huge part in helping the Warriors win the 2022 playoffs? All right, well here comes the fun part. First off, Draymond Green was probably on some of that off-season booze when he said what he said. I don't blame him. I'm having a bit myself right now. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, that is good. In all seriousness, Wiseman ain't going to be a rookie next year. He'll be a second-year player with a season of experience under his belt. And that actually means a lot in the NBA. Let me show you what I mean. I'll use some statistics to show how big centers in history have improved in their second season. For comparison purposes, I've decided to use athletic bigs who are about Wiseman's height and weight, namely Anthony Davis, DeAndre Ayton, and Carl Anthony Towns. Anthony Davis, who's considered a generational talent, in his rookie year had a plus-minus of minus 2.4. In his second season, he averaged 20.8 points per game and 10 rebounds. Last year, he won the championship in the bubble. DeAndre Ayton, in his rookie season, had a plus-minus of minus 5.4, and in his second year, he averaged 18.2 points per game and collected 7.6 boards along the way. This year, which is his third year in the league, He's an instrumental piece that helped the Phoenix Suns reach the Western Conference Finals. Lastly, Carl Anthony Towns. In his rookie season, he had a plus-minus of minus 1.6, and in his second season, put up averages of 25.1 points and 12.3 rebounds, and by his third year, was an all-NBA player. A ton of bigs do bad in their first season, but start tearing up the league once they figure it out, which usually takes a season. Now Wiseman will be going into his second season, and he now understands the difference in levels between high school, college, and the NBA. And believe me, from what I've heard and seen about his work ethic on and off the court, he's going to make the necessary adjustments to become effective and help his team when the 2022 season arrives. The necessary adjustments aren't too far out of his reach either. The young 20-year-old needs to get slightly bigger so he can bang in the post with some of the bigger and heavier centers in the league. An extra 5 to 10 pounds of muscle should do the trick in the offseason. So what does that equate to for Wiseman? Doing a few more bench presses every day? And perhaps eating a medium rare steak? When it comes to the type of plays Wiseman has to employ in his game to get better, he just has to take a page out of DeAndre Ayton's game. Namely, play around the rim, get putbacks, and grab rebounds. 
With his athleticism, height, and increased strength, it should be reasonable for Wiseman to grab about 15 points per game and 10 rebounds while shooting efficiently from the floor. And when I say shooting efficiently, make no mistake about it, I mean dunks. Some people might say that to be an effective rebounder and scorer takes years and years of practice and isn't something that can be achieved so quickly. And yeah, those people are right. But the thing is, it's not like Wiseman just started playing basketball this year. The man has been playing basketball his entire life. As a kid, he played against older and stronger kids on random courts in the city. As a high school senior, he averaged 25.8 points and 14.8 rebounds per game. In his three college games, Wiseman averaged about 20 and 10. The 2020 number two pick has been a beast among mortals his whole life. Don't let a season filled with injuries and a worldwide pandemic make you lose sight of what this dude is capable of. And along those lines, South Carolina State is and Wiseman it was so bizarre. All of a sudden, he is coming out of the tunnel. And all of a sudden, the truth is, for pretty much the past decade of James Wiseman's life, he's always been the superstar on his team. He's always been the go-to guy who puts up huge numbers and takes his team to championships. So when he entered the league, he probably just tried to do a little too much. But something tells me this summer, that's all gonna change. Did you know that the original big ticket, Kevin Garnett, is coming to the Bay Area and is gonna give young Wiseman a few lessons about how to be a true big? That has gotta be exciting to learn from a former MVP and champion who plays the same position as you do. It's one thing to learn from a star player like Draymond Green, but it's a whole nother ball game to learn from someone who played the same position as you currently play. If Wiseman can just pick up three to five points from Garnett that he can immediately implement into his game, that might be just enough for him to be more effective on the court. And that brings me to my next point. One major thing I enjoyed about Wiseman's rookie season is his attitude and his growth mindset. Not one negative thing came out of him, despite his struggles. And from what I've heard from other players and coaches, his approach to the game from a mental standpoint is first class. I mean, we all know what happens to talented people who have a stellar first year. Then as a result of either a bad attitude, off the court issues, or laziness, they fall off the basketball map. OJ Mayo, Michael Beasley, Anthony Bennett, just to name a few off the top of my head. It's unfortunate for such things to happen, but I've seen none of that from Wiseman. And on the plus side, in his rookie year, we've seen glimpses of what will become regularities in his second season. And Wiseman with a block. You see the help and recover? That's Wiseman has a handle. Wiseman down the lane. Wiseman to the rim! Make no mistake about it, James Wiseman doesn't just fit in with the Warriors' timeline. He'll be an integral part of their 2022 championship. If you want to see just how exactly this 2022 Warriors team is going to beat a healthy Brooklyn Nets team and win the title next year, then check out this video here where I go over, with the help of statistics and numbers, just how exactly this Warriors team is going to beat the big three in Brooklyn. Click it, guys, watch it, and I'll see you on the other side.